Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Babolat Pure Strike VS. Players looking for surgical precision and connection to their shots will love what the Pure Strike VS has to offer. With its heritage stretching back to the Pure Control, this racket is slightly heavier than the standard 98 strikes, but features a headlight balance which allows the racket to feel fast and whippy in the hands of big hitters. It features a 97 square inch head, a 16 by 20 string pattern, and control frame technology for added flexibility in the shaft for control and feel. I've been able to play test a bunch of rackets that swing faster and more maneuverable than my usual rackets of choice, and this Pure Strike VS fell right into that category. Now to start this play test off on all the positives, it was my favorite feeling BS racket that Babolat has offered and is available on the market at this time. And I loved drilling with this racket. Um, the feel at contact was great for me. I felt dialed in and precise when I was drilling and I had the time to make sure I was getting my racket in the right position. However, once I stepped into point play, I did notice a little bit of a lack of weight in the tip and I really struggled on my backhand wing. Um, I was having to aim cross court to make the ball do anything as I felt even if I was swinging big, the ball was winning the collision against the racket, unfortunately. So definitely a great platform for customization. Would love to add some more weight at the head of this racket. However, I will say on a positive, I loved playing at the net with this racket. It was so maneuverable. It got into position quite fast and I thought it was very stable even against big shots. So loved hitting it at net, on serves, no issues really. It wasn't my favorite serving racket, but I did feel very dialed in and precise when going for flat serves. And all in all, I think this racket's a great platform for customization for players that are just looking to strike fast and play big strike tennis. When I looked at the specs of this racket, I was super excited to get it out on the court, just lined up, perfect string pattern for me. I'm big fan of that 1620, and I just the specs were lined up for what I like in a racket. When I got out on the court, though, I struggled with this one initially and found I had to string it low with a dead poly, so I got that low tension to open up the string bed with a dead poly to uh, stop the ball from getting too flighty on me. The other way I could string this racket uh, to open up the sweet spot, especially towards the upper hoop where I struggled with this one, uh, was to put a multi-filament multi -filament string in it and just keep the tension at a regular tension there and I'll get that playability that I want. Once I got the string set up dialed in, feeling very controlled with all my shots, I was able to place the ball very well. Decent enough power, I could swing through the ball. Um, there's easy access to racket speed with this racket so I could generate the pace on my own quite easily, um, served well with it. Again, getting good spin, good feel for my targets. I just really needed to open up the upper hoop a little bit. So I could, another way I could do it is uh, add a little bit of weight up there at the 12 o'clock position, just to bring the sweet spot a little higher. Sat a little low for me, but apart from that, really fun play test. Here today to talk about Bobolot's new addition to the Pure Strike line of frames, the BS. Basically, you had me at a 97 score inch hoop, 1620 pattern, 315 grams, you put a leather grip on it. My curiosity is peaked. After playing this uh, with this racket for a bit of time, maybe 20, 25 hours, I conclude what everyone else has mentioned, it's definitely a pretty speedy, uh, fast swinging frame for it weighing 315 grams. So for the player that wants to get themselves into a heavier racket with some extra plow through while maintaining uh, racket head speed, this is a great one. It doesn't have that high 330 swing weight. Uh, overall, a very predictable racket for me. Um, the 1620 definitely gives me a decent arc on the ball, spin, and I can still keep my backhand slice low. Me personally, I struggle with the racket a little bit and getting used to uh, placing my shots to smaller targets. But overall feel, just the look of the racket, and then the fact that it's 315 grams, just a great overall play test. Specs on paper lined up perfectly for uh, the game I've been playing and the racket I've been looking for lately. So this play test was smooth start to finish for me. Um, Pure Strike VS gave me that really nice command over the ball that I'm looking for where I can swing big and know where the ball's going right off the string bed. Um, 1620 pattern, I didn't feel like I was giving up too much spin with it um, and you know, happily traded in that control uh, over my shots. Um, serving, same thing, overhead, it snapped through the ball nicely. Um, my slice out wide on the ad side uh, was definitely causing trouble, uh, leading to nice, easy hold of serve. Volleying, same thing, that, that slightly lower swing weight than I'm used to preferring um, actually worked really well at net. Uh, maneuverability was there and my touch was great. Um, there were a couple of downsides. Uh, out towards the tip of the racket, I feel like uh, if I were to continue playing with this frame, I would weight it up a little bit or like Chris mentioned, drop the tension of my strings just a little bit. 
um, to have a more forgiving feel out towards the tip of the racket. And this is a little bit nitpicky as well, but I wasn't a huge fan of the leather on there. Uh, it was a little bit slippery in hand, uh, but otherwise, like I said, really smooth play test start to finish. We strung our play test rackets with a couple different strings, including RPM Blast from Babla as well as Babla RPM Rough, both at 52 pounds. To learn more about this racket and many others, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.